are here today at Brand Launch headquarters. I'm Whitney, this is Emily. Hello. Hi. And we are the co-founders of Brand Launch. It's true. Yeah, it's very true. So today we are going to talk all about personal branding. We've got a lot of really cool things happening around that topic. Um, so we're going to give you all the updates and answer any questions that you might have. There's been a couple that were already loaded in, so we'll get to those. But um, first thing we want to talk about is that we have something really cool to announce. And in January, we will be offering a first, first time ever yeah. online digital class to learn all about your own personal brand. So we're gonna help you, yay! <laughs> I know, right? So we are going to be offering this really intensive course. It's gonna be eight weeks. It'll start in January. We're gonna start signups in October. But it's all about getting clear about who you are, how you talk about yourself, how you integrate into your community, how you bring your work into your platforms, basically everything that Emily and I have been doing for ever. <laughs> yeah, how we did that and how we became um, who we are in the community mm -hmm. because of that. Because it's really how we came together as we were both yes. kind of talking about how to build business based on community building and personal branding and like no one else was really talking about it. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to talk about it in town and now further reaching across Iowa and beyond. And beyond. Yes, yeah. now with my San Diego stuff. So That's right. Lots of people in San Diego coming in on this. But um, so, Em, do you want to talk a little bit about um, your personal brand, mm -hmm. how you built that, what it even means to you to be talking about this subject, and just dig into that? Yeah, I tell people, like, it was very on accident that I built my personal brand, and then very intentional, because I grew up, like, not the smartest, not the most athletic, not the most w prettiest whatever is in, in Pella, Iowa, <laughs> um, but I realized, like, what my advantage was as an individual is my kindness, my compassion, and just showing up with a really positive energy towards people and I was like okay like when I make people feel good I feel good and this is really energizing to me and what I started realizing about a personal brand is like it's literally about how you make people feel when you are really in tune with how you make people feel the doors can open anywhere because you are so clear on your intentions going into every single conversation every single social media post and everything in between so I would say um, I've started becoming really aware of this after I built a couple of brands here in Des Moines, like Pop-Up Yoga Des Moines, Baton City Des Moines, people just started really trusting mm -hmm. the ideas and the concepts and the posts I put out into the world, and I was like, wow, people pay attention, they believe I'm credible, you know, not for everyone, but no one is, right? Um, but I had, I just realized there was a circle of people in my life who really were following and believing in efforts and energies I put into the world, no matter what it was. Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of- Because they believed in you. Yeah. Period. Beyond my work. Because I remember launching officially my business back in um, June of last year and kind of being like, hi, I'm for hire. And like, <laughs> I didn't really have like the core offering per se, but I built a six figure business in just three months because people were like, yeah, I'm gonna buy into her whatever she's offering. I mean, they knew it was marketing, but mm -hmm. I think like that is, you know, it's a silly way to launch a business, but you know, for me, right. it was like, okay, like that's, that shows like the power of personal branding mm -hmm. and showing up as yourself. Mm -hmm. And showing up as yourself, so many people are like, how do you do that? Or they say, I need to do this social thing. I need to be on social media because that's where my clients are. And I'm like, oh no, you gotta like, you gotta back that up. You yeah. really gotta back that up. Um, we are not on social media because that's where our clients are. Yes, we end up meeting our clients because of social media, but if I was showing up every day to sell you something, you would sniff that out immediately. In fact, you know who those people are because you're like, oh, I am followed. Um, and so both of us really show up and like we give of ourselves and participating in other people's lives when they're sharing really cool things. Like I know we both spend a lot of time communicating on Facebook and Instagram and um, the amount of DMs that I respond to on a regular basis um, yeah. on the Instagram platform. And like, um, one of the questions that we got was how you choose what to share. Mm -hmm. And for both of us, I know for me specifically, I have some things that I don't talk about, but you, you don't know what those are. You don't know what they are because I never said them to you. Like, you guys aren't out there like, what is she not talking about today? Um, you guys are out there supporting what I am sharing. And so the thing that I really had to start understanding, because there were a few things I started to talk about that I was like, oh, I didn't want that to be, I didn't want that to be a topic. Um, but I had to own that I put it out there and people are interested and people are gonna ask. Yeah. So what for me, whatever it is I share, I know that I have to be willing to share 100% of it. Mm -hmm. 
and be completely honest because what what we believe what the hummingbirds is completely based on is whatever i say online and social is something that gets to be followed up in person and really it's the in-person stuff or like the dms or the messages the things that aren't even happening happening on the top layer of social that's where the interaction is happening mm -hmm. the real connection is not happening on on comments and likes the real interaction is the people who show up in my space show up in your dms you know seek us out at parties or networking events that we're at and ask us like, what do you really think about this? I'm like, well, what I said on social, but like, here's the other side of it, or, you know, particular questions. Yes, or here's like my personality and my tone to it, because you can always yeah. articulate that in a Facebook post per se, which is why emojis are also great. Emojis are great. Um, so when I was thinking about, people ask me very frequently, how did you build Ivory House so quickly? There's so many photographers here, mm -hmm. that is, I mean, and it's great. So my reaction to that, when people are like, oh, you have so much competition was, sure, of course, but none of them are me. And for me, when thinking about personal branding, the most important thing is that you have to think that you have something special to say. Yeah. Period. You do. You do, <laughs> right? But having the confidence to say, I have a perspective. I have something to share. And I don't think that either you, I mean, I think we're very special, right? We're very special. But I don't, like, we don't necessarily have like, super special backgrounds. We don't have, like, things that automatically differentiate us. Like, your story about Pella. I was, like, the quiet girl from Johnston that, like, sat in the back of the room and people thought was smart, but really wasn't that smart. And we didn't do well on our ICTs, people. <laughs> um, <laughs> we found that out. We were really, really poorly. Oh my gosh, it's not really poorly. It was really average. Yeah, we did average. Fine. It felt poor because my friends were really smart. Same. Um, so, Same. comparison hurt. <laughs> anyway. So I, like, you know, Emily, you are like enthusiasm, positivity, um, and that's also what I started bringing to the table in Des Moines, on top of just showing up and like truly believing that everybody deserves to be seen. Mm -hmm. That's kind of my thing in general. Yeah. Everybody deserves to be seen. And what a better place for that than social. Oh, for sure. Um, especially like, especially in photography land too, to yeah. display that to people and share people's what you love and appreciate about people. Like, it's one thing to post about a wedding, for example, or whatever, but like to talk about real people is also so powerful. I'm trying to, I'm Brittany, like, you're so far away. Um, <laughs> Mark reminds me all the time, ACC scores mean nothing. Yes. It's true. Yes. Um, we'll all get tattoos, just to own up to it. You know right what here. does mean something? Our Enneagrams, that's what means something. Yes. So, Brit, yeah. you're three. You're three. Seven, eight. Here yeah. we are. Um, the other thing that we, um, another question we got about social media being a distraction. We're just like, we're pretty united on this. Mm -hmm. Like anything is a distraction if you don't want to be doing other things. Mm -hmm. Like any, yeah, of course, social media is a beautiful distraction. It's a very interactive distraction, but like for us, it's like, we have a lot of things. Yeah, we're both on social a ton, but not as much as you guys probably think we are. Like, I deleted Facebook from my phone, so that's yeah. just supposed to show like, I, and I'm on it frequently enough. I use it on my browser and I don't, I don't have the app. Like it doesn't serve me in my space right now what I want to focus on in my business to have that application. So I don't have it. And like, guess what? That's okay. So I think that goes to show too, like someone once said like, I think this is about intimidating, being intimidated, but social media isn't distracting, you're distracted. I think that's the best way to talk about distraction in general. Like in social media, people are like, well, it's just a time suck. It's like, no, like, you need to practice self-control. Yeah. Set a timer. I don't know. Like yeah. it, it can be distracting when you have other things you're trying to avoid, or like you really want to work on this big project, but it's really scary to you. Like a lot of you probably know this, but I think it's good to reinforce. Like this doesn't have to be a place that's like super negative, or like you hate people. Hate, sometimes hate Facebook. It's like oh, everyone just complains all the time. Well, like create a space within Facebook where you're only following people who don't complain or are just attention all the time, you know? I, I have unfollowed, you like don't feel guilty about that. Like it's your space. It's totally our space. And I think that that's beautiful. Like we both have talked about, I love going back through my Facebook posts and my Instagram posts because I, it's like my, it's, it's a touch point of what was going on in my life. And then something will come up and it's a Wednesday's Whitney conversation I had two years ago with somebody that my relationship is totally different right now. Yeah. And like being able to, I know, like, and seeing, you know, when my, just my face changes, <laughs> yes. seeing the things that are happening, but I love that time capsule, and for me, like, 
I love knowing that like I've been building these relationships with people for so long. Yeah, and I love that social media. So one thing I noticed too in college, I started blogging. Like it's so cool to have Tumblr, and I would do Friday fives. And every Friday, that was just like the thing I did. And if I wasn't, if I missed one, which rarely happened, like I would get calls, texts, emails, whatever. People ask me like, "Are you dead?" And you're like, "Wow!" Like so, people are paying attention. I think that was like 20. 11 or something and I was like what you can truly build pretty incredible relationships because ultimately what social media does is it, it provides touch points with people so it's like oh my gosh I'm also a really big cat fan or like I also love the Packers and the White Ross but you know yeah. you don't like cats you don't like it. you like they're fucking fine okay anyway I like I like Emily okay okay well <laughs> Um, but these touch points are just like, we're depositing information on people all the time, we call it judgments, whatever it is. And so, and those, those things are helping us make decisions about one another all the time. So like the fact that like Brittany just posted in here, like, well, she's back top of mind. So when a friend's like, Hey, I'm having a wedding in a couple months and I need someone for desserts. It's like, it's just, that's how it works. Like you stay top of mind when you provide content and interesting, um, storytelling on social media. So I think something too that people get really stuck on are like, what do I post? Yeah. And so one of the things we've talked about and we'll really dive into in our course is just like content buckets, if you will. And I think if you're somewhere like stuck in that, just to think of like five things you always want people to remember you for, um, it can be really simple. It can be like the fact that you love your family or your dog or whatever, or it can be like, adventures and travel like that's something that really resonates with me um I talk a lot about Mm self-care like my my self-care journeys are out there because it's something I've struggled with and I'm bringing back up so now people call me about my self-care journey of what are you doing this week yeah food bank of Iowa I got a call yesterday Mm -hmm. asking me a lot of in-depth questions about the food bank like you know I don't work there right (laughs) Um, like let me put you in contact with here's what I think about this but the fact that like I am now considered an expert on the food bank Mm -hmm. because I have spent so much time talking about them and being involved with that yeah and that's like the other side of that coin is like okay so if you don't have anything to post if you really don't have anything to post then you have a different job you have a job of you need to get out into the community you need to get involved in things you need to find yourself to be an interesting person Mm -hmm. I mean that like that's just base level like if you're like I have no idea is it is it the hesitation of like will I be dismissed if I put it out there or am I actually not doing anything Mm -hmm. that I even find interesting so I think there's a there's like like, something like to love your morning coffee routine like you can talk about that yeah, or like, like snob. Tell, yeah, us about it. tell us like what you're making for dinner and like these beautiful meals like you make like it doesn't have to be this like profound post on life transformation like again we're just looking for ways to to connect more with humanity like if our only goals on this planet is to survive and to thrive like this is what we come to social media for it's like we, we don't come here to see exactly like what you're making for breakfast but to like be inspired by your attempt to eat better or to strive for better health whatever it is like that's what we're going to social media for so if we can provide a presence on social that helps get other people inspired educated empowered whatever it is like you're filling someone else's cup mm-hmm. and it's so much more than you being like this is what i did today it's just like why did you do that today why do you care about this why are you showing up here and telling us about it so something we talk about with having an impact post. So Emily, you just wrote a really beautiful one about your journey when you were in Hawaii. Can you give a little recap of that? Too? Which one? The the one you were prego and talking right about. Right before I went. No, no, like the one you just posted. You and the rocks. And not no. Okay. Anyway, um, so when we talked, it was really long. It was beautiful. It was about like paring down on your things and oh, like yeah. being really intentional with your. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. okay. I was like, <laughs> I read it. I don't know what she did, but <laughs> I was really in the moment. I do remember writing that yeah, now. It was beautiful. It's really like unplugging, but I was coming into myself and just like reflecting and sharing the journey and what it looks like for me in hopes that someone else is out there being like, me too. Like, I get it. Like, I've struggled with this or I'm overcoming this right now or like, I'm there with you or like, I support you. And it's not about, for me, it's not like I post about this because I want to be validated. I mean, like, someone to say like oh you're doing it right this is the best way to live it's like saying here's me and like 
you might see me in XYZ locations or doing these things or, you know, speaking at things and have this perception. But, like, here's, like, a more raw version because, like, we're just people and we're showing up and doing our best. So if I can provide any sort of just, like, here's the human side of, like, the life in this seven brain, like, <laughs> then I hope it resonates and adds value and helps get someone on their journey. When I write a longer post, I'm frequently thinking about, okay, where was I? Mm -hmm. Where am I now? Where am I headed on this journey? Whatever the topic is. And how, how do I want my audience to come along? How do I want the people who are in this with me to come with me on this? Because something we talk about all the time is like, your posts are not about you. And when they are about you, you can like see that. Cause you're like, tell me I'm pretty. And like, mm -hmm. cool. But I, like, frequently, like, if I'm writing something and then the response is, like, just a physical affirmation, I'm like, but I wrote something really cool. What about yeah. that? Um, so that's, like, for me, I really want to take my audience on a journey, let them know that I'm there with them, let them know that the dialogue is open. Mm -hmm. The conversation is open. I love deep real conversations so I try to have those on social as much as possible so, so that people, when people walk up to me it's like hi let's talk about this really crazy thing you just yeah up on yeah. Facebook or Instagram dive into it mm -hmm. yeah I love and I just I think we can talk about it as business owners entrepreneurial spirited women mm -hmm. but this topic is just as relevant personal branding in the corporate world and totally. um, if you're an entrepreneur or you really want to be CEO of a company someday like Personal branding is also for you because if you show up and you don't make people feel seen or heard, you're, the likeliness of you climbing as fast as you want or the growth you want to achieve is just not going to happen probably for you because people remember how you make them feel. My Andrew says this, right? Like, it's not always said or did, it's how you make people feel. And so if you can show up in the workplace and say, like, you know, I remember a year ago you lost your dad today. Like, I wrote, you know, and I brought you a cupcake because I just remembered. Those are the really small moments. They're small, but they're so thoughtful, and people will remember you and want to advocate for you because it's reciprocity. We want to reciprocate how you, if you make me feel good, I want to make you feel good. So I think this conversation is just as important in the corporate setting, and I was, it's about culture, really. Like, if you can provide an incredible um, culture and, like, be that person who brings the light and the joy, and you don't have to be an extrovert per se no. at all, actually. It just, showing up and knowing your energy can make a difference in the room is incredibly powerful. Yeah. Personal branding at the end of the day is how you draw people to you. Mm -hmm. It's just how do you bring people in so that they are yours, they are connected to you. I get, and I know this is the same for you, I get uh, messages from people that I haven't talked to in three or four years and say they've been watching. Some people, some of these people haven't commented on anything yeah. I've done. And I will get an email that's like, or a message that's like, hey, I want you to know you inspired X. Yeah. I had no idea. And there's only so many people that I can see every day in Des Moines, Iowa, although it feels like it's actually hundreds. Um, although it might have actually been hundreds the past couple days. But um, personal branding is in both spaces. It's where you show up and it's right here. Mm -hmm. And this is, you know, I've been doing this for two years now. Mm -hmm. There have been times, quite honestly, where I've been like, do I? doing this yeah. and every single time I say that out loud it's been, there was like one month where I was like ready to let it go and everyone was like no like this is this is it this is your touch point and I really evaluated it and this time that I show up as whatever it is that I am that day because mm -hmm. some days it is some days I'm like in my makeup and I'm ready to go and like I'm off to an event and then some days I have been sweating for a really long time it's just, it's just what it is. Really doing it. Yeah. Um, and that reality of like showing up every week. Yeah. It doesn't have to be curated. I think like we moved past that to social. I think there was a phase like two years ago where it's like the filters needed to be on point. Your grid needed to look a certain way. It was like such an aesthetic game, especially on Instagram. And now it's just like, please be you. Like the amount of just like vulnerable, open posts I've seen lately, I'm just. I, am, I don't even know if I can go to the depth of some of the vulnerability yeah. happening on social right now, but it is so, so inspiring. Because wouldn't you rather see that in your feed of just, like, yes. people being honest and, like, open versus just, like, shameful about themselves or hiding or not posting because they don't love or believe in themselves. I just think we 
have such a beautiful platform on social media to spread love and be love and go on to Michael Ferranti's song or something. Like, it can be this magical place of connection and authenticity and abundance. And you guys can help bring that. So, yeah. uh, to wrap this up, um, we are going to be, the course will start, so it's an eight-week course that's going to go through all of this beautiful stuff. How to do it, how to get you over some of those barriers, those like, yeah. I don't know how to talk about this. We get that. Like, we are going to walk you through all of that. What are your topics? What are your content buckets? How is your messaging? Who are you talking to? Like, you're not just an audience out there. Like, my audience is different than Emily's audience. Like, get to know who your people are. Um, who's your on, boots on the ground community? Who's right outside your door? How are you connecting with them? All of this stuff will be part of the course. Sign up will start October 1st. Yeah, and um, we're super excited. We've been writing an ebook that's all about our philosophy on social in general. So uh, the very first thing you'll get is just our complete thoughts. Ebook. And it's really ideology mixed with tactics. Like yes. basically what we're talking here. Like we didn't say a lot of tactics in this conversation per se, but like really sharing like how do you write an impact post? What does that even mean? For most people, like that's unfamiliar territory. So if you do sign up in the first couple weeks of October, we will like you get this ebook. We will sell it as well because we really think it's an amazing tool that if you're not quite ready to dive into a course, mm -hmm. like this is gonna help you get so much clarity about social media in a way that's super advantageous for you in life and business and everything in between. But um, enrollment will open and then we'll launch officially the new year because we know holidays get crazy too so we wanted to to kick off the new year to really sunny your holidays and we will we will 2020 together yes, we will. Yeah. oh yeah go to brandlaunch.site and then if you go under the personal brand tab that's where you can learn all about the course if you get on the wait list you'll have definitely a special gift upon enrollment mm -hmm. that you'll want to be on the list for so do it it's free it's at the bottom of the page so 